I know that this segment is going to be heavily edited. It's going to be. Oh, we're locked in now. Three pounds and five. I'll try it on again. Riding round on your no, car, the... going on about Charles the first. <laughs> I love you, Dad. I love you, Dad. I love you, Dad. It's good vibe. Yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> this is, you're on the wrong side. I always need to be on this side. This is my good We're side. We're getting, we're going to get I mean, it. This is Wing It Wednesday, except it's, it's Thursday. <laughs> and I can't think of a good name for Thursday. So anyway, we've come to Newark on this Wing It Wednesday slash Thursday. Just travel look around and see what's going on here. And from what I see for the first couple of minutes, it seems like it might be a nice town. So let's go and see what's what it's all about. But I think we need to get a, a coffee. We need a coffee, and I need something to eat because I'm really hungry. I've not had breakfast yet. I'm a bit chilly. It is a bit nippy. Yeah. It is really quiet. I mean, it's like 11 a.m. and it is so quiet. What direction? We need to go and find the market, don't we? That marketplace, that direction. Oh, there's the marketplace. I think it's bric a brac market today. Oh, look at these old garden implements, tools. They're good. Oh, well, I'm very surprised, I must say. It's five pounds the low pack. Oh, thank you. <laughs> we were talking to a lady there, we just missed the chiming of the church, that was lovely. We... So, yeah, we've been on the... the uh, bric a brac and she was saying I mean it's died a death like most places and we've said where can we get something to eat she says this place here which but she don't know much about this and there was a Weatherspoons but even Weatherspoons are shut down and that was it yeah, there yeah. but I don't think that was because of it wasn't busy I think that was to do with the, the rents apparently are you about the Queen's heads please yeah they'll love it they'll love it won't they and we've got the town hall over the back there. We'll go. We'll come back one, once we've had some breakfast. We'll come back and and have a look at that. I like the the, uh, the buildings. Yeah, some lovely old buildings. Look at this ahead here. Yeah. What's it look like? It's Does it look all right? I don't know. So we'll just take a risk. Are you, are you willing to take a risk? Let's take a risk. What about that olive one? But this is like a bit interesting, isn't it? Let's go in there. It's an old building and we oh, can ask. Look at that. Yeah. Come on then, let's go on. I just looked online just because it's so old. Yeah. And apparently it was built in the 12th century. Mm. And for the last hundred years it's been used as a bakery, so I wonder what it was used before. Yeah, and when the young lady came to take our order, I was asking if anything strange has happened. Yeah, you always ask stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> so this looks very nice. That's my scone. I've ordered the sweet scone with cream and we've got butter and jam. you got a knife? Yeah, the knives and that are in there. Oh. I've got a latte and Helen's got an Americano. What do you put on first? Well, this, it's obvious, isn't it? The butter's nice and soft, isn't it? Oh, oh do you see, I'd have cut that in half. Well, you put the butter, then you put the jam, then you put the jam. That's the only way to do it. I don't know why it's even a discussion, to be honest. No, it, it is a discussion. Well, it's... So, everybody in Cornwall, or oh, Devon, <laughs> is it different? <laughs> <laughs> you don't even know. So that was a lovely little cafe, it was very nice. That's the violin school there. So, we've got the church here. We'll have a look at that, and I think the castle was maybe that way. 
so what do you think? Shall we do church first? Church. That way. Church or castle? Church or castle? Church. Church. Come on then. Is this the main church? I don't know. Okay. That's a lovely roof, isn't it? Right, let's walk down this street. Lots of very interesting architecture and lots of empty shops. <laughs> Sorry, we're blocking the street. You're terrible, aren't you? Yorkshire Trading Company. Oh my God, can we go in? Yes, <laughs> we can. <laughs> Helen's favourite shop, after boys is. I'll tell you what I love about this shop. Yeah. Some good clothes in here. Is there? You know, yeah, you get all the farmers clothes. Yeah, if you want that sort of country farmer look. Look at the flat caps and the wellies. And... Oh god, that's still tight. <laughs> <laughs> What's this all about? That's good, I like it. <laughs> oh yeah. No. Yeah, that's my one. Okay. Paddington Bear. Hill, hillbilly. Three <laughs> pounds. I'm buying. I'll try it on again. I wish I had to point in this place out too. <laughs> and here we are in the haberdashery department. <laughs> What are you laughing for? <laughs> I know a lot of our subscribers like the haberdashery bit. I do. Look at all this fabric. It's it's not as good as boys. Do you know what I need to make? What? A dirndl. I don't even know what that is. It's a dress for Oktoberfest. All right. Joe Wick's Kitchen Hero. Easy release non-stick aluminium cookware. You see, bold and bankrupt don't have to go through all this, does it? I don't know what's worse, going through some of the most dangerous cities in the world or going shopping with Helen. <laughs> Look how many pegs they've got. Oh, God. <laughs> they've got every time. Give me strength, please. <laughs> Do you know what I find really difficult? Go on. Buying a good quality peg bag. I think you need your own channel, <laughs> Helen. I really do. <laughs> That looks a decent pub, nice old pub, doesn't it? Old King's Arms. Maybe we should go in, have a look. What now? Well, let's look at Castle first. Look at that building, isn't that beautiful, Helen? It is. I wonder what that is. It might just be a house, who knows? It won't be. It's too big, it's a pub. It's, too, it's gorgeous. Is it a pub? Do you know what? A pub, oh, you're open. Is it a it would be something posh. It's a bar. What? Well, not all that, surely. Well, the restaurant is it's Oh, That's just the corner there. That's a lovely building. And, and I don't know what it all is. That bit obviously is a, some sort of bar, restaurant. But surely it's not all that. But isn't that gorgeous? Some lovely buildings. We need to try and 
to the castles behind us. How do we think we'll get to it? What what direction, darling? I think it must be the other way. It's not like a castle what you can oh, is gosh, it? It's got it, all like it looks stuff a bit around. derelict. So we're gonna have a look at Trent. Yeah. Oh look, so you've got some warehousing, mill type buildings. It's quite fast flowing, isn't it that? Yeah. I wish I'd have bought that three pound hat now. We'll go back and get it. <laughs> so we're on the, the river here and we've just seen this. The castle barge. Is it just a pub as well? Can we just No entry, please use the other entrance. I wonder if you can just go and have a drink. Yeah you can. But I don't it's just gonna be all like it's not gonna be real ales or is it? Yeah. Said, oh, it says real ales, ales. yeah, side. but is it real real ales? Well, we'll go and we'll find out. Let's go and have a look. Oh, yeah. This is a rare occurrence, Helen at the bar. <laughs> yeah. I really like this place. So, like, who owned it and like, what was it used for? Do you think they're where people slept? They Are probably these, like, will bunks? be. Yeah, they probably will be. Yeah, what a good little find this is. What are you doing? I'm having a bad head. Oh dear, and, and I've heard about it all day. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> cheers. <laughs> Look, you don't have well, these problems. You've made it worse doing all that. Have I? You don't have these that's, problems. That's nice. It's fine, sweetheart. You look beautiful. Yeah. Honestly, you look really Thank nice. you. you look I, d I need to get to hairdressers desperately. We need to do a cheers, innit? Anyway, yeah. Left hand, you see. One of his subscribers told us, oh, sorry, got to look. Because, yeah, but don't. You're supposed to look at me because you want to and you're cheering me. I do want to look at you. Cheering. <laughs> cheers. Cheers. Somebody said that you've got to, a comment that said you, it's got to be a left hand as well. I don't know if that's true, but we'll take your word for it. Anyway, this is a cracking one. You just nearly wrecked the joint. Anyway, cracking little pub this, isn't it? It's I'm great, bit. yeah. We're near the front, this is best seat. And that's the advantage of coming in the middle of the day, is you can get... <laughs> yeah, we were actually the only customers. Yeah, somebody else has come <laughs> in there. Someone's come in. But then the chap who we talked to, Ellis, who's worked here for seven years, he said, and we were talking about how quiet it is in town, and he said that on a weekend it gets rammed in here. So, so there you go, and they have live music on as well. And you struggle to get a table, apparently. Yeah. In summer, he'll say it's... He says the the music like wafts. The music wafts. On the summer evening breeze. Well, he did say that. A bit like when that. I've been in the bathroom. Not that. Bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the music it just travels on. Yeah. The evening breeze, and then people hear it, and then it attracts them to yeah. the place. Yeah. So we're having a, a little discussion because this is the front of the boat I've remembered yeah. this is the stern and the back of the boat's the aft are you sure? no <laughs> <laughs> but I think it is and then there's it's not port the and starboard yeah I know that because that's posh that's where posh comes from port side out starboard home so, which one's right and left then? so the that's right, isn't it? That's where posh comes from. Because they used to write on, on ships, on cruisers, if somebody paid for expensive cabins, they'd write posh. So it was port side out, starboard home. P O S H. What, because the posh people. So you assume the port side was the best view of the coastline? Because that would be the best view, wouldn't it? And then when yeah. you're coming back. But it depends what direction you're going in, doesn't it? I don't know. I don't know. You but don't, that's you very don't, interesting. It is, but you don't. You, I, I won't rely on us for any historical facts. Or any information. <laughs> or it was just made up. <laughs> it's just made up, it. Hello. Hello. Yeah, what a cracking little pub that is. Really yeah, it was good. It. I enjoyed it. I thought it was going to be gimmicky, but it wasn't. It was quite nice. Oh. 
But don't you'll break it. So let's head back into town. Where are you? Yeah. Oh. That was like an aperitif. <laughs> so there is a castle there, but... Yeah, there's not much going on there, I don't think. Helen, I, I was just discussing whether is it an affluent area around here? And then Helen says, well, there's a Waitrose down there, so that is the barometer, isn't it? She yeah. says. So it must be fairly affluent. If I think that, yeah, yeah. If there's a way to us, yes. we're going to cross over. There's a lot of traffic though, isn't there? Mm. In town. There's quite a few like boutiques. There is, yeah. Shops, it's, it? it's a funny old thing, isn't it? Because these look like you say a lot of boutiques and stuff, but yeah, it's absolutely dead. Charity shop. Yes. Oh, why did I say that? I'm like, I sort of knew as I was saying it. Just speak in your mind. That never was it. <laughs> Why? Maybe because you're holding a camera and Maybe. you're talking to it. <laughs> we'll get some funny looks with camera around. Can we here. just have a very quick look? Oh. So there's like a little Thing here, it's the butter market. Is it, is it clusters of bazaar? I don't know. It's a nice building. You've got some sort of cafe restaurant there. I think that's just one shop, isn't it? Yeah. So they'll be like, it's they were, they were probably, like yeah, they were probably all individual stuff. shops, but then somebody's taken it all on as one. I think. That's so nice. Yeah. Isn't it lovely, this? This is the town hall? Yeah, I thought it might be. Yeah. And all these units are on, isn't it? Yeah, a lot of empty units. That's sad, isn't it? It's nice, isn't it? It's lovely, this. It's a lovely uh, market square, isn't it? I think that might be the poshest Greggs I've ever seen. That is the poshest Greggs ever. <laughs> look, look at that building. Now that looks very rickety. It is, well that'll probably, that really is uh, Tudor, yeah. isn't it, I think. Yeah, well that that's, well you can Prince tell. Rupert. No idea. Prince Rupert stayed here after his with the king. If you can read that. I've never known a town centre as quiet, have you? Maybe like it <laughs> on a Sunday. Past five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it feels very You know, it's Thursday afternoon, it's not a Sunday. And look at that building, that is magnificent. And that's to let. what the history behind that is. Helen's gone down here. You never guess what these around this corner. Go on, a pub. I, I, I want you, <laughs> I want you to just you want me to peruse this corner? Yeah, just peruse this corner. Oh, I've seen it. <laughs> I've seen it. It's a boys, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh, we're... These must be the cheaper shops down here because there's a lot of mobile phones. And shall we go down and then yeah. come back again? Argus. Argus. Oh, it's Argus. Yeah. Looking for an engagement ring. 
No, you should be looking. <laughs> right, look at some of this stuff here. Look at that big, massive chain there. Who's that, wearing that? That big bracelet. Look at these massive rings. Yeah. Well, no one at the minute, because <laughs> they've had to pawn it. Wow. Honey trap laundry. So we'll go in there and get some sexy knickers. Yeah. <laughs> That's the pound shop, right? Little pound shop in that little old building. I wonder what that is. Do you know now? Do you know pound shops? They, they should be reported to the trade descriptions because <laughs> things are over a pound. Yeah, this this is like the cheap end of town, yeah. but it's still it's still entertaining. But this, so the cheap cheap end of Newark is still better than the uh, posh end of a lot of other towns, isn't it? <laughs> So we're back round here again. Yeah, all the roads laps. lead to the market square, it's don't like, they? It's like we're doing laps, <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> and we've just talked to somebody else, it's surprising. A, a nice young man. And a nice young man yeah. there we were just talking to. And the thing is, the feeling is that it's not a bad town. And it, it looks a nice town, doesn't it, does. it, to be fair. And I think we've just come on a quiet day. I think so. So Because not it, like... This antique half market. Yeah, it's not, not a, it's, everybody's thing, is it? No. But I'm sure when the big full market is on, I'm sure it's very busy. I'm sure it is. So we're not going to be neg I can't be negative about Newark anyway, it's lovely. It's it nice. Is, it's yeah. nice. Like it. It's uh, got a nice vibe. Yeah. It's just dead. I like it's the like, cobbles. Yeah. It's just very dead, but you f you feel perfectly comfortable walking around. There's no yeah. You know, when you walk around some towns, it's a little bit, mm, but not here at all. Yeah, that's a lovely building, isn't it? The Prince Rupert, we need to look that up. Is that a pub? Wow. Do we that... need to go in for research purposes? Yeah, I think we do. Let's go in. I guess if I oh. put... He was defeated in that battle when his poor dog died. Okay. And York and the round... Who were the roundheads? I'm not very good well, they're at... They're the parliament people. He lost York and the north of England to the roundheads. And, and he lost his dog, so it was a it pretty, was a pretty bad day, crap day <laughs> for him on that I'll tell day. you what. If I'm <laughs> listen, I have to listen to all this whenever we go in here, so York <laughs> will have to as well. Every day is a school day when you're out of Helen. You should have been a teacher. Well, my mum was. Mum I was. just, I just like to know stuff. Yeah, actually, you would be a really good teacher, wouldn't you? And but then, in Germany, and then, with the restoration of the monarchy in 1660, he returned to a warm welcome by the new Charles II. Is that where the dogs come from? Was it King, King Charles, Charles Spaniels? Spaniel, yeah. I don't know which Charles it was. But... Do you know our Charles, King Charles? Mm. Is he the third? Uh, he is, isn't he? Yeah. He had a son called Dudley. Oh. Are you going to just read the entire 16... Wikipedia? No, no, I'm, I'm just picking the be best bits. Oh, he's, he's a naughty boy. Right, he's so he... Uh... I mean, it's just Frances Bard, it's not that the Roman Francis didn't. And she gave birth to the son Dudley, but then he fell in love with a celebrated jewelry and actress named Peg Hughes and made her his mistress. And then she gave birth to a daughter called Roberta. That's it at the end. <laughs> I know that this segment's going to be heavily edited. It's going to be massively edited. Because if I left if I left in everything what she just said, this video would be too What, hours everyone would be asleep. Oh. <laughs> Honestly, you won't believe what I've just had to sit through. <laughs> Helen reciting the entire history of Prince Rupert. 
I didn't tell you everything. Oh, I well, just, that's, I, I've had enough. Do that did, That was oh, the edited highlights, love. I don't anymore. It's I'm not going to give you anymore. You could ask me any question now on Prince Rupert and I won't, I won't be able to answer it because I just didn't listen to that at all. Well, I could. <laughs> Oh dear. You're, I think you're very cheeky. I'm you? cheeky, but what we need to discuss is... You like my nerdy side? I do, but in, in, I like it in retrospect. I like it when you're not being nerdy. I don't understand that. At the time it's infuriating, but then when I'm being all like, oh bless her, she's a nerd. It's all cute and everything, but when you're actually You mean there, like when you look back? When you're there and I'm having to stand <laughs> when and wait you're for there. you. Oh, God. It's like hiking, isn't it? When you're on the hike, you absolutely hate it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like, like it. it. I know you like it. Come along. <laughs> do, do, do. But once I've got back, I'm, and I'm... You mean it. once you've actually got home and you've had a bath and you've had something well, to eat and, and, a couple of days and then to you, you're sort of reminiscing and you think, oh, yeah, that yeah, was good. good. It was good, but... Is not, it like that? when I'm on it, no. And that's like your lectures. It's not a lecture. I'm, get, I'm, I'm just imparting it's information. It's like your presentations. It's not a presentation. So, right, we go in the pub and places, and Helen feels like she's got to make a presentation to me about some historical <laughs> thing. It's like, it'll get, I, I reckon within a year or something, we'll be going in places, and she'll have like a slideshow. She'll probably have laminated leaflets. I'm going to bring my laptop. I'm oh. going to do a PowerPoint presentation. So there's a picture behind you. I wonder if that is uh, Charles the First and Rupert. Prince Rupert, look. It says something underneath I on that picture it frame. Yeah. What does it say? It says this is Charles I and Rupert. Does it? Yeah. You see, it look at me. I could like take people around the place, you like could. tours. Helen's tour. Helen's tour of Newark. Helen's they pay, tour of Newark. They pay ten pound and the tour lasts sixteen hours. <laughs> Honestly. After I've imported all <laughs> the information. <laughs> oh, God. I'm going to start grooming myself. Oh, yeah. I'm going to look after myself a bit, yeah. Right, forget the grooming. You need to do some exercise. Yeah, I know, I'm, I'm back at you. Do you know for your health and but I want to... Says me drinking I, is. It's like a midlife crisis. What? I thought you'd already been through one of uh, this, this is probably my fourth. This is like... This will be my fourth midlife crisis. And I'm going to... Are you going to gonna get be, another tattoo? I'm not going to get another tattoo. But I'm going to get... Lose some more weight. I'm going to sort the beard out. Are you going to have some piercings? I might get some piercings. Where? I'm not telling you. Don't do your eyebrow. Do you remember that? Do you remember when everyone had piercings there? Or yeah. lads. It wrote blokes in Barnsley. We've probably only been right, twice no. in four years. The only thing I don't like is when you're driving my car and you're like revving it to God knows yeah, where. That's not that's not bickering, is it? No, but then I always have to say. I'm not something. revving it. Listen, she goes completely over the top. She's got six gears in that car, and I've got five gears in my van. Yeah. So sometimes I forget to go into six no, gears. No, but sometimes when you're in the lower gears, she has I'm a thinking. She has change a gear. She has a meltdown. It really is like antagonising. You don't even me. need six gears. Well, no, That's just a thing they've made up. The car has got It's like, them. do you remember when you had your bikes when you were kids and I had like a rally burner and then some kid had come with a racer and he'd say, oh, it's got 56 gears. You think you just don't need what, it? What were those, were those of gears on What were those well. like bikes yeah. with the two wheels, the big bikes? All bikes had two wheels, love. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what bikes, unless, <laughs> unless it were a no, penny farthing. <laughs> <laughs> I, I well, I this. had a penny farthing, don't you know? Just, just riding around on your no, penny farthing, the, going the, on about the... Charles the First. <laughs> <laughs> Prince Rupert. <laughs> no, I mean 
that bike in the like 70s slash 80s with the big back wheel and the small front one, what were they? That were a chopper. Oh my God, a chopper. I was never lucky enough I to have a, a chopper. I had a grifter. Do you remember grifters? No. I had a grifter and then a rally burner. And then I think, if I remember right, I got really lucky and had something like a, 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 a rally mongoose, was that a thing? Like a proper with mag wheels of mushroom grapes, and I had the mushroom grapes. Mushroom grapes, and I had a plaque. Oh, I had them trick nuts on back. What you'd stand on? Remember things are on your back wheel. Oh, that's like a BMX. It was a BMX. Do you know what I had? Were it a rally mongoose? You'll be able to tell me what. You'll all remember (laughs) this, right? Do you know when you used to get those bread tags, and you used to put them on Mm. your bike to make it sound like a motorbike, and if you went to see if your mum went to CNA to buy clothes, you could get do you know the little plastic things to tell you what size it is? Oh yeah. Off the coat oh, hanger. You'd put them on. And you'd put them on, do you know, like your brake leads. Oh, I bet your bike were right snazzy, mate. Not really. I always had second hand bikes, well, but I that did. didn't matter. I did, because my dad was an antique dealer and he used to go around all these shops mm. and markets. We were just poor. But, um, yeah, well, no, we're not gonna go in down that way. <laughs> <laughs> so, my, my dad. <laughs> right, do you know what? Someone said, they said, do you know, when I were a lad, we were that poor, we used to gather around a candle, do you know, for warmth, yeah. and then when it was really cold, we'd light it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for that. Yeah. I can't take credit for that one, but it did make me laugh. We were that poor, my mum used to make all my clothes. And she made me a bloody velvet suit. Oh, yeah. I mean, did she, though? She did. She used to send me to school in a chuffing velvet suit, a red she velvet never suit. I've got four photographs of it. What, when you were like in 21. the nurse? 21. 21. <laughs> that was the joke. You weren't at school I know, then? I, was, I said it wrong. You were left school when you were about yeah. 15. I, yeah, I left school as soon as I could leave. Yeah. I left school. With no qualifications. Right. I was quite an academic person. But I went through this period at school in fifth form or whatever it was when I decided I wanted to be a rapper. I was like the original Eminem. And I just devoted all my spare time to rapping in my bedroom. Not like rapping presents, I mean like gangster rapping. We've received a recommendation that there is an Indian restaurant around this corner. So we're going to have an Indian. Are you sure you're okay with that, darling? I'm okay with anything. I know you are, but you just... I want to know what you're really feeling. I want you to be happy. You know, that's all I live for, making you happy. Oh. And I suggested an Indian, and you went, yeah, OK. But I wanted to what, know you, you mean really... you like I wasn't, like, well, whooping? I just want you to be, like I said, yeah, really well, happy. It says open, what? but... You hope? Yeah, I don't. I'm not into it. Let's look at you Pratt. You know what? It just looks... It just don't, it's not. It's not really like doing it for me. Oh, I know, but. <coughs> what's prices? So we've just timed that right because it's just opened. It's a bit nippy because it's oh only gosh, open. I'm but cold. That, I've, I've that, borrowed that, James's body warmer. She's borrowed my body warmer. There's two, there's some somebody more else has, Somebody else has come in now. So this, yeah. it says the Everest in, and then on the inside it says. Wow. Basire. Look at that. So it's Nepalese and Indian. Right, listen to this. Go on. Barbecue breast of duck. Sounds amazing. I'm blown away. Number 52, they've got uh, chicken taka. I think that's like chicken corn with just a little otter. Come on. You heard that one before? <laughs> Yeah, from you. <laughs> I can't remember where I nicked it from. <laughs> so you decided, you've decided what you're having. So. I've decided what I'm having. We've got us poppadons. I must say the pickle tree is looking very really lovely. Mm. So the gentleman's just fetched this out and I think it's some sort of Nepalese thing. I it's don't know very what it, well presented. It is. Are you going to try it? We've got one each. Yes. It's not uh, what we yeah. want. It's a bit of a freebie, I think. Yeah. I'll let you go first. Sorry. <laughs> this is yeah, not going to look very it. glamorous. They don't. 
<laughs> I can't see your hairs in it. But hot. Is it hot? <laughs> what hot temperature? Yeah. Is it nice? Mmm. Mmm. Is no it idea. chicken? I've no idea what's in it. It's spicy. It's got coriander in. It's tangy and spicy, isn't it? Tangy, spicy, a little bit chilly. Yeah. It's bloody nice. It it's is hot. It is a little bit. I've got a thing called Momo. M-O-M-O. -O, and it's like dumplings and it's got lamb in it. Lamb, more, more sort of dumpling. And this, this is uh, Nepalese. Ne this is Nepalese. And I've got uh, <laughs> Everest tikka, which is a kind of chicken tikka, basically. But it does look very nice. So you, you want to go half and half, do you? Do you? Yeah. Do you know, I've cut into this dumpling and all this lovely, like, meat juice is like, gooiness is like, just coming out of it. Oh, that was... oh sugar. Yeah, the poor it. tablecloth has had it. Oh, it's very... <sighs> mm. I think yours is nicer. And I want to throw that. Mm. Looking at it. It's a good job we're sharing. It just. It has arrived. <laughs> this is looking yeah. very good. And it is our friend Unkit. Unkit, is that right? Yeah. Yes, Unkit, yes. All the way from Nepal. Oh, uh, yes, that's, that's me, that's thank you. you. Thank you very much. That smells good. And what did you order, Helen? Uh, the mixed karai. Thank you. What's thank you in Nepal? Nepalese? Dandiva. 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 Look at you. Dandiva. And the garlic naan. That's lovely. The smell of the garlic naan is really very good. It, it does. smells lovely. Yeah. That yeah. does smell very nice. It does. Thank you very much. Dandiwa. Uh, I'm okay for okay. Do you want to um, the drink? Okay. Yes, please. Uh, uh, another red wine. Yes, please. Yes, please. Thank you very much. Okay. Do food. Okay, thank you. Have a lovely day. Thank okay. You. Thank you. Dandiwa. Dandiwa. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely though, really nice. Yeah. I don't know, I'm going to show you again. So, we've sort of mixed it up, haven't we? Mm -hmm. That's Helen's dish, which is whatever. We've made a terrible mess of the table. Oh, we always do. I'm so sorry. And that's mine. Yeah, so what's really nice about this restaurant, they've got cloth table napkins. You always like that, don't you? I do, got I like it. The cloth table. They've right? got nice colour here. Look here with glasses. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell we're old, can't you? <laughs> you can tell we're going on, yeah. That was beautiful. It was amazing. Both absolutely full. I would oh, go as far gosh. as to say possibly one of the nicest. I know it was Nepalese, but it's like Indian Nepalese. Yeah, it was one of the really nicest nice. I've had, and it was absolutely yeah. fantastic. And our waiter, lovely bloke, Unkit, yeah. was just so nice. Yeah, really. And he English is really good. Yeah. Uh, Obviously, you're studying in the UK, so. No, I study in the UK as well. Uh, in the Nepal, I study in the English school. Oh, okay. So I can yeah, speak a yeah. little bit nicer than now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to say a word to you in Nepalese. Yeah. But I should be saying it when I go out the door. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> Olovida. Olovida. Olvida means goodbye. Yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yes. uh, Olvida means the, it's the, in the Hindi language. Oh, okay. It's in the Hindi and Nepalese we say it. 
fairy wood. Hello, it's lovely to meet you. Nice to lovely meet you. Lovely to yes. meet you. Thank you Hello. So much. And lovely to meet you. Thank we you. love your food. It, it was, was very delicious. Good. Thank you so much. It was yeah, wonderful. Yeah. Yes, thank you. Had a great evening. We have. We've, had, yeah, we've yeah, really yeah. enjoyed yeah. it. What's your name? My name is Dave. D E V. D E V. Dev. 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 Lovely to meet you, Dave. Thank you so much. Thank you. So I just recently took over this business. Oh, it's your business, is it? Yes. Oh. And uh, I was running business in Grantham before. Okay. And uh, which is, uh, I joined here October. Okay. So since October, we try to be give the best food in this town. Yeah. Because I was working in the Grantham 17 years. Really? One restaurant. Oh, wow. And so before that, um, I start my journey from 1986 from India. Right. So I learned a little bit of things in my hometown. Yeah. And then I moved to the India when I was a child. Yeah. And I start cooking. Then I come to the UK. Too many restaurants I have been to work in this yeah. center London. Yeah. And then I moved to the East Midland. Then uh, this is my, I think, is the last journey now. Is it? <laughs> well, it's a wonderful place that you've got. And, and we really you've thank you. Have you only changed it one week ago? Yes. Yeah. Wow. Just the name now. Is it just the name that you I don't changed? want to be continue with this somebody name. Yeah. Yeah. So want you want to make it your own, own don't you? Yes. My own brand. Yes. Yeah. So one day somebody will say, oh, let's go to the Devs restaurant to have something on it. Yes. That's yeah. what my yes. intent. Which is there is a over 360s dishes on my head. Right. But I cannot put everything in the menu. Yeah. But if you come next time, Please let me to cook next time. Yes. Because this time you choose from the menu, and I didn't know that. Yes. Uh, how you like the our Nepalese uh, food? Okay. But keep it on the. So menu. we need to come back. So we? next time we come back, we will say to you, Call Dev. Yes. We will have whatever you yes. recommend. Yes. Yes. <laughs> that way, <laughs> that you got more opportunity to have a lot of choice of the yeah. flavors. Yeah. Yes. Because. It's not mean to be have the spices. I can get the spices from the herbs. Yes. That is actual the flavor. Is it the, is. Yes. Yeah. Because a lot of customers coming, they don't. A lot of my customers come from the Grantham. Yeah. They say they, I don't need the menu, mm -hmm. and I will just have a what you sent me. Yes. And then I just cook for you. So lots of your customers come from your old restaurant oh, yes, here. Yes. Oh, yes. Wow. Everybody, this is like a Saturday is coming. Is it? Fun. Well, what a meal that was. That was so nice. That was so good. And the people were so we, friendly. We, we've just come out. I don't know how much of that, because we had a conversation with the owner, who was the chef, uh, and we, we were complimenting him on the food. And he's invited us back to go down and he'll show us the kitchens, he'll cook something special for Some us. Some street food. I'd like to say a really a special... Um, I don't even know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. What I'd shelter. like to say a special mention for Unkit, our, our waiter. He was just so lovely, friendly knowledgeable, uh, personable, he told us all about Nepal and it was lovely, yeah. it was just really nice and then Dev the chef came out who is the owner of the restaurant and he was equally lovely